want to thank everybody for watching Crypto Revolution, where I talk about everything crypto daily. I want to thank everybody for 20,000 subscribers. Definitely glad to see the big two zero. If you guys enjoy the content that I provide on a daily basis, be sure and subscribe to the channel. Uh, like this video. It definitely helps me grow the channel. You know, all I want for Christmas is 21,000 subscribers, right? And if you like the video, it helps me out. Subscribe if you haven't already. I make these videos every single day for you guys. Hit that bell for notifications and leave a comment in the comment box. I, I, I read all the comments that you guys leave me and I appreciate those. I want to give a shout out to my trading group. So I've got some guys in the group that no, they didn't start out this way, right? People start out on their phones when they come into my trading group. People come out, start with a laptop or a PC, and then people take it to the next level after they start, you know, I always say reinvest your profits, you know, get some extra monitors to kind of help watch this market. And, and these guys are hardcore. Like these, these guys have, have come into the group and really taken off, but definitely shout out to my trading group. Jumping right into the market today, crypto sideways, overall market cap, $205 billion, Bitcoin at 75.82. This is a Bitcoin weekly chart okay so let's let's zoom out real quick so this is up head and shoulders this is just hey we have to remember what's what's happening where this market's headed potentially uh so you got this head and shoulders it, it was confirmed previously a couple weeks ago the weekly candle closes later on today uh, again we're coming up to retest uh this confirmation line of this head and shoulders now the head and shoulders target gives us a price of, uh, of about a measured move this is not crisp made up four thousand this is hey the measured move of this head and shoulders is four thousand dollar bitcoin right so keep that in mind big picture this is a bitcoin 12 hour chart we're in this multi-month downtrend right short-term uptrend short-term uptrend but multi-month downtrend so at the end of this uptrend we have to assume that if we don't break out and go higher then obviously we're headed lower right so we'll talk about that in a second but we broke above the 21 moving average simple moving average on the 12 hour uh the 50 moving average is acting going to act as resistance it's coming into the picture real soon all your major moving averages are turning or have turned lower and moving lower on the 12 hours so that's bearish this is a bitcoin one hour chart so we're about to run into some overhead resistance that we haven't been able to pass at about 7600 okay so we're in a short-term uptrend bitcoin's trending higher this is a rising wedge 68 percent chance of a break to the downside though but remember if you're in bitcoin you know, potentially you put your stop in place here because if this breaks lower, there's some downside ahead of us over time. I've got a cryptocurrency trading group where I post profitable trading setups every day. I've got videos that'll teach you how to trade. Everything you need to know, you can watch these videos. You'll learn to make profitable trades. I've got a six chat groups where everybody's calling out breakouts, working together. If you guys want to join the cryptocurrency trading group, you want to pay in crypto, email me, CryptoBitcoinChris at gmail.com. I get you set up and in the group today. Remember, you pay with crypto for six months, you get a 20% discount. If you pay for the year now, you get 30% off and an additional month for free. If you do want to pay with a card month to month, you can do so. There's a Patreon link in the description. This weekend has been amazing for these altcoins. Now let's check it out over here. The large caps, yeah, they're not doing much. XTZ is up 9%. These large caps, no, the, the, the money is not being made in these large caps right now. It's being made in these small caps and micro caps, right? One BTC, so I posted this on the 7th, but this is an aggressive buy. So I post this and I say, hey, when, this, when the price action gets down here, that's your buy signal. And it did, 53% gains out of one. Here's another, we've been playing these midterm holds. It's easy way to trade the Sparky because you're basically buying and holding for a couple weeks to a month, month and a half or so. You know, we're, we're seeing good returns, 50, 60, 70% returns over time. Some Matic is up 150%, you know, so, some more. RVN up 49%. Again, I posted this on the second. I even called it out like, hey, this is moving. Here it is, 49% gains out of RVN. CELR up 50%. And again, this took some time to play out, but again, patience. You don't have to babysit these trades. Uh, these are seasonal. The, you can't, obviously, if, if these coins are trending lower, midterm hold is not a good idea. So these are trying to put bottoms in on these smaller altcoins. You know, we're getting good bounces out of the smaller caps. You know, VeChain was another one. Data is another one. A bunch of these coins are moving higher. Secret Bitcoin indicator signals major Bitcoin bull run incoming. 
I don't know if we're quite there yet. I'm ready. I'm ready for Moon Edition. But this gentleman, Willy Woo, he says, this is the NVT ratio. He, it measures the dollar value of crypto transactions relative to network value. Bitcoin's on-chain volume suggests the bottom is in and long-term rally is about to begin. I don't agree with this. I don't think the bottom is in here. I want to be wrong. I hope I'm wrong, right? I hope we break out to the upside of this falling wedge. And that's really my signal. My signal is, hey, when we break out to the upside of this multi-month downtrend, if we break this level right here, then everything changes. I feel that sometimes the news jades people's ability to trade this market and make profitable trades. And so the, the charts kind of give you a, a good understanding of what really is happening. Bitcoin hovers around 7550 as altcoins see moderate gains. Like I said, large caps, the money's not being made in large caps. It's being made in the small caps right now. Bitcoin could reach 8200 before coming back to 6500. So that's a fair statement. If you look up here, you know, you got your 8200, 8300 level. So if we move to the top of this, break out to the upside here. But then you have to assume that this pattern continues and we go back down to 6,000, right? And it, this pattern will continue until it doesn't. And it's been retested and tested again. This does have a 68% chance of a break higher, but I don't know if we're there yet. Don't buy Bitcoin because cryptocurrencies are harmful to the banking system and they may weaken the state apparatus. And it does, you know, this don't buy. I saw this and I'm like, don't buy Bitcoin. What the? And then I'm thinking, yeah, best bookmark for this book, dollar fiat bill. Perfect. If you guys haven't picked up a Ledger Nano X hardware wallet yet, the factory link is in the description. It does support the channel. Right now, you can get the two pack for $149. You get a Ledger Nano X and a Ledger Nano S. Ethereum completes its Istanbul hard fork. So this is, this is a step in the right direction. You know, in the future, uh, in 2021, they're looking at moving to proof of stake, but this upgrade addresses issues such as gas costs, interoperability with other cryptocurrencies such as Zcash, uh, DDoS attack resilience, among other things. So again, it's a step in the right direction. There's six Ethereum improvement protocols that were implemented here. Justin Sun comes out and he says, huge congrats, knowing that, and he says this to Vitalik, right? The developer for Ethereum. And knowing that Justin Sun constantly takes, they, these guys fight bicker back and forth constantly, right? Like children, like they're just back and forth constantly. Justin Sun he gives this, you know, it's sarcastic, like huge congrats, good for you. Not really. 13 million in Ethereum transferred to Poloniex from a wallet that's been inactive for almost two years. So you see something like this. We talk about these whale alerts and trying to figure out like, are these even, do they even matter, right? And you see a transfer like this and it makes you think, well, the, these these coins have been sitting for two years, so possibly this is not an exchange wallet. But 89,000 Ethereum were wired or moved to Poloniex. So again, just has to make you wonder, are they buying Bitcoin? Are they selling Ethereum? Are they buying altcoins? What are they doing here? This is the IOHK website. This is a Shelly node map. It's pretty cool. This is actually a, a nice site. Like you can go through and, and look at different areas of the world, read about the Shelly nodes that are uh, scattered throughout the globe. Now more Cardano news. So Cardano founder, Charles Hoskinson, to fight a crypto YouTuber in an MMA match for charity. And people, this is all the talk like right now. It's, it's almost comical, right? But the MMA match, not these guys aren't going to have a boxing match. These are, the guys are going to wrestle. You know, crypto YouTuber Chico Crypto, if you guys know who that is, he's definitely a controversial guy. This planned fight is going to raise money for St. Jude's Hospital. So Jason Appleton, who is the Crypto Crow, he basically tweeted, Charles Hoskinson responded about this fight in August in 2020. MMA match in Cincinnati. No purse. Profits go to the St. Jude's Hospital. Charles Hoskinson says, I'm in. Let's raise a million for the kids. So Jason Appleton has this, this you know, event happening in Cincinnati, Ohio. So he's happy to get anybody to go. Charles Hoskinson, he, he just wants to raise money for the kids. Chico Crypto, I mean, what's his motivation here? He just wants to beat up beat up Charles Hoskinson. Like they've had they've had beef in the past. 
beef, crypto beef, right? Here's what Charles Hoskinson had to say about Chico Crypto in the past. Everybody wanted him to have a discussion about Cardano with Chico Crypto. Right? Charles Hoskinson says this, no, I will not dignify slander and lies. His content is our space's version of TMZ meets National Enquirer. He lied about my past. He lied about ADA issuance. He lied about Ethereum Classic. And then Chico Crypto says, hey man, I just said what happened in the past with you, BitShares, Ethereum, Ethereum Classic. You ran a very shady ICO over in Japan, made an assumption about who controls the majority of ADA. I could be wrong, prove it to me. If you're too busy traveling, you're not working on ADA. So they're back and forth, like taking shots at each other, right? And I'm just like, TMZ meets National Enquirer, the big fight in 2020. I don't know. So then, then the Cardano community says, do not do this, Charles Hoskinson. Do not cancel this fight. Like, if you want to raise money for the kids, why don't you run a marathon or play some video games with the guy and drink a beer? But do not MMA wrestle Chico Crypto. I, what do you guys think here? Like, is this the wrong thing for Charles Hoskinson to do? Do you want to see this? I want to see this fight. I mean, I think I want to see any. I'm, I'm a big MMA boxing fan you know i watched the uh championship fight last night in boxing mma is always great but then you get two guys you know wrestling mma style like beating each other <laughs> i just think it's it's comical but i don't know i like to get your thoughts on this in the, in the comment box microsoft unveils blockchain solution to make ai more trustworthy so microsoft's getting big or they're very pro ai as, as it is right now and they're trying to use blockchain technology to attract more of their corporate clients so that there's a bit less nervousness about trusting the advantages that are offered by artificial intelligence. So the thought process is here, like you've got this AI and you want to be able to say, hey, you know what? I've got these data points that were established two years ago that I used in my machine learning model that influenced the calculation of risk. And so blockchain and crypto gives you these data points. And so definitely AI and blockchain, I think is a good pairing. And I think we'll see going forward in the future, I think micro payments made by machines. You know, I've seen ideas where you've got drones flying everywhere. The drones need to recharge. They pay with crypto for recharging. Like these micro payments are gonna be the future as well as AI. Get this, a Danish court rules that this Nordia bank can prevent employees from investing in Bitcoin. I read this and I said, what? So if you work at this bank, they're basically saying, hey, they can, they can prevent you from investing in Bitcoin. The bank went on to say, hey, this is too risky. It's too risky to trade in crypto. The ban is because the, these markets are unregulated and linked to criminal activity, money laundering, etc." Yeah, they don't even want these employees trading crypto in their free time. Like, obviously, how could they catch them? How could they stop it? But at the end of the day, this kind of... And then the court upheld this. If you guys like the content that I provide on a daily basis, be sure and subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment below, hit the bell for notifications. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys tomorrow.